Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now this is a SanDisk USB stick. I bought it a while ago in a flash sale at just £8, roughly $10. It's a USB 3 device and has a capacity of 64GB, enough for say one or maybe two AAA titles or a few less demanding ones. It really is nothing special and I needed it to store a few files that I'll probably never look at again. But let's just say that you've run out of hard drive space and you can't bring yourself to delete anything. Can you use one of these to run your games from? Now I've seen this done before and I've always wanted to try it out myself. USB drives seem to be one of those things that a lot of us just have lying around. So let's get into it. Normally I use a standard WD1 terabyte hard drive with sequential read and write speeds of 135.6 and 143.1 respectively. The SanDisk drive has a 126.5 read and a 38.31 write speed, meaning that whilst our games should run just as well, installing them in the first place will be a painful experience. So we installed Steam as well as a few games and after they were finally ready we jumped right into it. Now frames per second aren't important here as to be honest there was no noticeable difference and we're looking for consistency rather than speed. Our footage was recorded using OBS on the main hard drive. So let's start with the rise of the Tomb Raider which took a little longer to load over our hard drive but I couldn't fault the overall experience. I did notice on one or two occasions that the game totally froze for a second or two which were at the start of this level and about 10 seconds apart. After that though things seemed to iron out. It was the same story with Fallout 4 which took a long time to load over the hard drive. We had to uninstall Tomb Raider to make room and that's a problem that could be eradicated with a bigger USB stick but performance wise we experienced no major problems aside from a few seconds of complete freezing after fast travelling. Finally we played Rack which is a cool fast paced shooter and this is actually where we saw the most problems. Whilst I wouldn't call it unplayable there were frequent freezes, I can't really explain why but it was a little off putting to say the least. Overall, running your favourite games from a USB is doable, but it's unpredictable, and I would only consider it as a last resort. Having said that, the results were much better than I expected. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this concept has been done before, but I found the whole thing very interesting, and I thought I might as well try it out myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike the video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And thank you so, so much for 100,000 subscribers. I was never expecting to get anywhere near that. So that really is quite the milestone. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see all of you in the next video.